Pollution harms our health and our environment. In the EU, pollution is linked to one in eight deaths every year. It is also one of the main contributors to biodiversity loss and compromises our ecosystem's abilities to provide critical services, such as clean air and water. The Source to Seas Zero Pollution 2030 project aims to develop a holistic pollution framework that will guide the EU towards achieving zero pollution in European seas. It's a very ambitious project um, where a group of really multidisciplinary researchers came together and tried to address um, how are we getting to zero pollution. Through the different work packages led by our partners, the Source to Sea Zero Pole project aims to better understand the barriers that compromise successful marine pollution management. Sometimes what happens is that some policies may actually contradict each other or not actually work that well together. Capitalize on best practices to implement sustainable and effective measures addressing marine pollution. For some of the things we have a lot of knowledge, but we're still not where we thought we would be at this stage, which is an issue. Engage stakeholders through joint knowledge production, known as living labs. We're going to have workshops and meetings and looking at scenarios as like, and really trying to push and be ambitious is like, okay, in that scenario for this forever chemical, if we want to get to zero, if you can imagine a world like this, what do you think needs to happen first? Provide practical guidelines through two case studies focusing on tire wear particles and PFAS. Generate societal impact and raise widespread awareness of how marine pollution can be addressed for four main types of pollution, being nutrient input, marine litter, chemical contaminants, and underwater noise. Marine litter has become very prominent in the public eye, so there's a lot of support for regulations, but other sources of pollution that may not be as visible or known, such as especially chemical components and um, substances, um, they are having direct health implications. And we need public support as well in that case. So that's why we need to raise not only awareness, but involve actors across society. And finally, co-develop a practical roadmap that will guide the blue-green transition needed to reach clean European seas. We need to look at it now and really stop, basically turn off the tap on all of those pollutants. Let's reach for zero pollution in European seas. Follow our work on SOSZeroPole2030.eu and our social media channels to stay updated. Yeah.